Come on, put on your headband. You need to cover your eye. It's time for school. No, I don't want to put it on. You have to wear it. People can't know you have a third eye. My third eye says you're cheating on daddy. Get over here. Ah! You must always keep your third eye covered because if the government finds out that you can see people's secrets, they'll try and take you away. <gasps> ho, ho, headband head. Zip it, Jake. <laughs> headband head, what are you hiding under there? Brianna, are you okay? I'm fine. What's on your forehead that you're hiding? I'm your best friend, and you've never even shown me. I'll show you, but you can't tell anyone about this, okay? I'm your best friend. You can trust me. Ah! Why do you have an eye on your head? I would hide that, too. There's more. You've been seeing my boyfriend behind my back? You've been seeing my boyfriend behind my back? I would never. You're my best friend. I love you. You're a liar. You know what? Pretend you didn't see anything. You're not my best friend anymore. Come on, Bree. Babe, what's wrong? I need you to keep your eyes closed and not open them until I say so. What? Why? Just do it. Okay, I will. Sheesh. You're in love with my best friend. I'm not. What the? I told you to keep your eyes closed. Brianna, can I see your third eye? Who told you? Remove your headband and we'll tell you. I said who told you? It was Stephanie. Stephanie! Stephanie! You told everyone about my third eye. Bree, no. I didn't tell anyone. I promise. Makes sense why your dad never came back with the milk. How do you know? Wait, your eye has a special power, doesn't it? Mommy, why whenever I hold onto an object, it says send to soulmate? That's because, honey, any object you touch, you can send to your soulmate, and he can send you any object he touches. I'm going to send him Mr. Octopus. <gasps> Mommy, my soulmate wants to send me something. What did he do to my octopus? And why is there a puzzle piece with an H on it? Oh, honey. I'm never letting my soulmate send me anything ever again. And I'm never sending him anything. My soulmate sent me flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. Did your soulmate send you anything today? No, I haven't accepted anything from my soulmate since I was six. You should accept it. It might be something important. Yeah. A puzzle piece with an E on it. Oh, my soulmate's trying to send me something again. LP? He sent me E earlier. Maybe he's trying to say something? Yeah, like LEP or L. Pell. And why is there a puzzle piece with an H on it? Help! Help! My soulmate was trying to say that he needs help. What am I going to do? You should send him over something so he can protect himself. Good idea. Here, send him this frying pan. Now you're talking. My soulmate's trying to send me something. He sent me the frying pan back. He must not need it. Brianna, look, he attached something. It's a puzzle piece with the one on it. I wonder what this one could mean. My soulmate's trying to send me something. Four, three. Maybe he's trying to tell me what address he's at. Or maybe it's a code to unlock something. Sophie, I'm worried about my soulmate. He hasn't sent me anything in hours. What if something happened to him? Here, send him this. Oh, moldy cheese? It smells so bad that if someone's holding him captive, they'll release him for sure. Why do you have this on hand? You don't? Maybe I can send over myself. I don't know. I don't think you're considered an object. I can send myself, but I'm scared. I don't know where I'm going to end up. It's not a good idea. It's too dangerous. Please, don't go. My soulmate wants to send me something. A six. He wants to send me something again. What is it? It's an arrow, but I can't tell if it's up or down. Attach it to the puzzle piece and see. It's down. He sent me dirt. This is getting weird. I need to go to him. Brianna, wait. Take this for protection. Promise me you'll come back safely. I promise I will. Why am I at a graveyard? Six down. I think he was trying to say he's six feet under. Help! Help me! Are you still alive? <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby! It's not! Breathing! <laughs>
Miss Applewood, that's not a baby. That's a stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a stuffed turkey? Should I come back another time? No, she's fine. She's just been a little out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi, Susie. How are you doing, sweetheart? Good, but I miss talking to you. Why haven't you been answering any of my calls? You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning the police every single day, not your granddaughter, so we had to take away your phone privileges. <laughs> Wrong number, I guess. Grandma, Mom's on the phone. She says hi. Is there anything you want to say to her? Tell her I said she's a <laughs> for putting me in the nursing home. Yeah, Mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that. Mommy, why whenever I hold onto an object, it says send to soulmate? That's because, honey, any object you touch, you can send to your soulmate, and he can send you any object he touches. I'm going to send him Mr. Octopus. I'm never letting my soulmate send me anything ever again, and I'm never sending him anything. My soulmate sent me flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. Did your soulmate send you anything today? No, I haven't accepted anything from my soulmate since I was six. You should accept it. It might be something important. Yeah. A puzzle piece with an E on it. Oh, my soulmate's trying to send me something again. LP? He sent me E earlier. Maybe he's trying to say something? Yeah, like Lep or L. Pell? And why is there a puzzle piece with an H on it? Help! Help! My soulmate was trying to say that he needs help. What am I going to do? You should send him over something so he can protect himself. Good idea. Here, send him this frying pan. Now you're talking. My soulmate's trying to send me something. He sent me the frying pan back. He must not need it. Brianna, look, he attacked something. It's a puzzle piece with the one on it. I wonder what this one could mean. My soulmate's trying to send me something. Four, three. Maybe he's trying to tell me what address he's at. Or maybe it's a code to unlock something. Sophie, I'm worried about my soulmate. He hasn't sent me anything in hours. What if something happened to him? Here, send him this. Oh, moldy cheese? It smells so bad that if someone's holding him captive, they'll release him for sure. Why do you have this on hand? You don't? Maybe I can send over myself. I don't know. I don't think you're considered an object. I can send myself, but I'm scared. I don't know where I'm going to end up. It's not a good idea. It's too dangerous. Please, don't go. My soulmate wants to send me something. A six. He wants to send me something again. What is it? It's an arrow, but I can't tell if it's up or down. Attach it to the puzzle piece and see. It's down. He sent me dirt. This is getting weird. I need to go to him. Brianna, wait. Take this for protection. Promise me you'll come back safely. I promise I will. Why am I at a graveyard? Six down. I think he was trying to say he's six feet under. Help! Help me! Are you still alive? Here's your exam paper, Timmy. Um, miss, I forgot my pencil. Well, then I guess you'll just need to be prepared to die. What? No, why? You could just, like, lend me a pencil and I can write my exam. Oh, Timmy, Timmy. Let me tell you a story of a boy who forgot his pencil. No pencil, no right exam. No right exam, fail. Fail, no college. No college, no diploma. No diploma, no work. No work, no money. No money, no house, no food, no lab. But don't worry, just this once, I'll lend you a pencil. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Let me tell you a story about a boy who cried. I don't think my soulmate's very happy with me right now. Wait a minute. He wrote an address. He must want you meet him there. Are you gonna go? Of course I am. I gotta go home and get ready. What are you doing? Covering up the 69. It's so embarrassing. That was weird. Ah! It came back! You can't cover up any of the drawings your soulmate gave you. It will always reappear.
You know, they really need to make a handbook for all these rules. This is the address. No way. You actually came. Hi. You have the heart on your face. And you have the 69 I drew. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm Brianna. Nice to meet you. I'm Jake. Look, I shouldn't have brought you here. You need to leave. Immediately. What? Run. Stop! What are you doing? I'm drawing an ice cream. No, you can never draw on yourself. Anything you draw on yourself will permanently be on your soulmate. Forever! Oopsie. Brianna, what are you doing? Relax, I'm just drawing a heart on my face so it'll be easier to find my soulmate. Okay, but I don't think your soulmate is going to be very happy with you putting a permanent heart on his face. He'll thank me later. You ready to go to class? Brianna, look at your face. <laughs> oh, he is not going to get away with this. Revenge isn't the answer. What did you do? A permanent mustache. Let's see how he likes that. I don't think my soulmate's very happy with me right now. Wait a minute. He wrote an address. Here's your dinner, Miss Applewood. Susan, what is this? It's your pureed meal. No, no, get me chicken nuggets. You can't have chicken nuggets. You can't chew them. This looks like what was in my diaper this morning, Susan. And this? It's puree tofu. It's doo-doo. I want chicken nuggets. No. Susan, I want chicken nuggets. You're not getting chicken nuggets. Thank you for the roses. Thank you for the roses. Mmm, <coughs> ice cream. Miss Applewood, we have a new resident on our floor. Susan, I am working. You're 103 years old. You don't work anymore, Miss Applewood. I really want you to meet this new resident. You'll really like him. I don't want to meet him. Tell him to leave. He lives here. He can't leave. I really think you should try making friends, Miss Applewood. Fine! Hi, I'm Mr. Stevens. Hi, I'm Miss Apple. What? Susan, I'm in love. You have a husband. Mama, I'm in what love. What is she doing? This is how she flirts. Miss Applewood, I left you some markers and some paper so you can color. I have to go get some work done, so just call me if you need any help, okay? Okay, thank you, Susan. I will. Help! Help me! Help! Miss Applewood, what happened? Susan, I was lonely. Look, everyone, this poor old lady is eating lunch all by herself. Are you recording me, Jennifer? Old age is so beautiful. Who are you calling? Good morning. Good morning. It's time to take your medicine. Bombastic side eye. No, Miss Applewood. There'll be no side eyeing today. Now take your medicine. <sighs> you really thought you ate that? No, I don't. But you need to eat your medicine. No, I don't want my medication. I want girl dinner. After you take your medicine. Girl dinner. No, please don't start singing again. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. All right, unplug your life support. Miss Applewood, you soiled yourself. Come on, let's go and get you cleaned up. No, I'm in my pooping my pants era. What happened to your clean girl era? Let's bring that back. Clean girl aesthetic. Exactly. Now let's go get washed up. You're giving me the ick. You're giving me the ick because you smell so bad. Where'd you get that? What are you eating? My husband. Today we will be making our last girl dinner. Miss Applewood, are you on your phone again? Your grandchildren don't want you to have too much screen time. Mind your business, Susan! What is our dessert? Moldy muffins. Yes, that's my favorite food. I need my glasses. Cake? No, no, no. Too sweet, too sweet. Need some mold on it. Pizza? No, no. Too cheese. Too much cheese! No! Yes, yes, toenail clippings. What's my drink? Wash it all down with the 7-Up. Good. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. How much? Delectable. Red olives, all right. No, 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 no. I'm not taking my vitamins. Miss Applewood, you need to take your vitamins. No, I told you I'm not taking my vitamins, Susan. <sighs> See, this is why I told you to stop yelling so much. I don't yell. Anyways, 
Scrumdiddlyumptious. Miss Applewood, your grandchildren are here to see you. Tell them to go home. I'm busy. You're not busy. I'm trying to see what kind of dog I am. Today I will be seeing who has a crush on me. Six, five. <laughs> I would climb that like a tree. Miss Applewood, what did you just say? No one's talking to you, Susan. Bartender, I don't know because I'm a material girl. He doesn't make that much money. Cancer, oh, he's a 10 out of 10 in looks. <laughs> no one would ever have a crush on you, Miss Applewood, because you're not a very nice lady. That's not true, Susan. I have a husband. Now, what is this filter? I'm a fan. Hmm. Why are you spinning? I don't know, but make it stop! Mrs. Applewood lived a long life, but unfortunately, one dreadful day she turned into a fan, and she couldn't stop spinning. Not even Susan could he pee her. Give me now! Bombastic side eye. Girl dinner. Girl dinner slay. It's worse than I thought, Doctor. Her dementia's progressing fast. All she can remember is internet sayings from back in her day. My name is Jeff! It's not looking good, Susan. Let me ask her some basic questions. What's 9 plus 10? 21. This isn't good. She doesn't even know basic math. Miss Applewood, do you remember me? What's my name? Who am I? You're a pain in my ass. I'm bad like the Barbie. Susan, play Barbie World. Nurse Susan's not on this floor anymore. Who are you? I'm Nurse Jennifer. I'll be taking care of you from now on. No, 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 no. Get Susan. Get Susan. I don't want you. I want Susan. Susan doesn't want to see you. Now take your heart medicine and vitamins. I don't take my medicine, and Susan knows that, and she knows I don't take my vitamins. I want Susan here. If you were nice to Susan, she wouldn't have requested to change floors. <sighs> Whatever. I'll go get her myself. Miss Applewood, no. Hey, stop running. Dirty dad. Oh, the enjoyment. Miss Applewood, it's time to take your heart medicine. Susan, you came back for me. I had no choice, Miss Applewood. Nurse Jennifer quit because you hit her with a tray. Good times. That wasn't very nice. Now take your heart medicine. No, 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 no. I don't take my heart medicine, and you know that. If you don't take it, you could have a heart attack. I don't have heart attacks. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> Miss Applewood. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not something you should joke about, Miss Applewood. <gasps> not again. Susan! Susan! I'm not falling for it. If you want mine, I give this Miss Applewood. Ah! The other residents are trying to sleep. Susan, I was I told you, no performances after 8 p.m. You should be resting anyways. You just had a heart attack. I don't have heart attacks, Susan. I told you. Did you unplug your oxygen? You need it. Your oxygen levels are so low. I don't need oxygen, Susan. Not when you're around. Treat me like what Don't get me dirty. That's it. I'm resigning. <gasps> I can't breathe. I can't breathe, Susan. Bombastic blank. Criminal offensive blank. Oh, no, Timmy. Did you just get a ticket? Answer it carefully, because if you answer it wrong, you die. Bombastic, um... Jimmy, look, I'm giving you a hint. Oh, bombastic eyebrow. Criminal offensive eyebrow. No, no, no! It was bombastic side eye. Only in blank. Only in Ohio. Bye, Grandma. I'm off to school now. I just got a TikTok saying. Grandma, it's TikTok. Double it and blank it to the next blank. I don't know. I don't use Tic Tac. You have to try or they'll kill you. Double it and throw it at your grandpa. <laughs> Grammy. Why are you still here? You're going to be late. Mom, Grammy's gone. Oh, no. What happened? She got a TikTok saying and she didn't guess it right. It wasn't her fault. She doesn't know how to use the Internet. I just got a TikTok saying. I just got a TikTok saying. Trying the new blank shake. The what shake? Mom, I don't know the answer. I'll give you a hint. It was someone's birthday. Trying the new Grimace shake. I got it. Where did you just go? Go? I didn't go anywhere. I was here the whole time. You're losing it, Mom. Hey, how's my best friend doing today? Not good. My grandma passed away this morning. Oh, no. I just got a TikTok saying. Hurry, Bestie, read it. B-F-F-R. Be blank for real. I know the answer, but I can't say it. It's a bad word. No!
Mmm, yummy lunch. I just got a TikTok scene. Hurry, Eugene, read it. Eight and left no blank. Hmm. <gasps> eight and left no, eight and left no bread. The answer's eight and left no bread. No, it was crumbs. Why would it be eight and left no bread? Miss Blank has blank. Miss Rabbit has fainted. Babe, babe, I was calling you. I'm sorry, babe. I'm a little out of it today. It just feels like everyone around me keeps dying. I just got a TikTok saying, Mother Blank Blank. I'll give you a hint. It's a game. Someone made a POV about this, right? Yes, a beautiful, amazing, perfect model blonde girl made a POV about it. I don't remember her being all that. Anyways, I know the answer. It's Mother Can I. No, it was Mother May I. Hey, Brianna. Jake, stay away from me. I think I'm cursed. Everyone around me keeps dying. Eat these hot peppers and I'll give you $20. Deal. Go, Brianna, go! Ooh, okay. It's got a little kick. Go, Brianna, go! Ooh, okay. It's got a little kick. Light work, blank, blank. Ah, these peppers are so spicy! Brianna, this is perfect! Hi. This TikTok saying has to do with eating spicy food. Light work, no reaction. I got it. Oh no, I just got a TikTok saying. Hurry, Jake, read it. Rate blank on a scale from blank to blank. Rate me on a scale from 1 to 10. Probably a 4 at best. No, that was the answer. Oh. Rihanna, I think now is a good time to tell you. I don't like you just as a friend. I love you. I never told you before because I know you have a boyfriend, but I can't hide it anymore. Jake, I don't have a boyfriend anymore. He died playing finish the TikTok saying. I just got a TikTok saying. I just got a TikTok saying. He is not the blank of your blank. Hit him with your blank. I have no clue what this one could be. He is not the love of your life. Hit him with your car. Whoa, you got it. I confessed my feelings to you earlier. You never gave me an answer. Jake, I don't feel the same way. My boyfriend just passed away. I'm not ready to open up my heart to someone like that. I just got a TikTok saying, this is so blank and blank. I don't need a hint. This is so sick and twisted. Jake, wait, don't be mad at me. Wait. I just got a TikTok saying, that was my blank reason. It's the number that comes after 11. That was my 12th reason. I got it wrong. <laughs> you gave me the wrong hint on purpose. That's what you get for rejecting me. Wait, how are you still alive? You can't kill the creator of the game, Jake. <laughs> what are these hearts on my face for, Mom? The hearts represent how many people must fall in love with you before you can meet your soulmate. When they fall in love, you lose a heart. What's the gold heart for? That represents your soulmate. You'll only lose the gold heart when your soulmate falls in love with you. <laughs> Hi, Jake. What do you want? I really like your left elbow. <laughs> what does that even mean? Get out of here. Oh no, what's wrong? I need five people to fall in love with me. Look at me. It's never going to happen. I'm a loser. You're not a loser. You're beautiful. You just need a makeover. Come with me. Who's that fine babe over there? Where? <laughs> He's talking about you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't snort. I, I think I'm in love with you. Brianna, you lost a heart. You really do love me. Brianna, you lost a heart. You really do love me. We should go on a date sometime. I'm sorry, Jake, but I don't think I'm your type. I'm Brianna. Who? The weird girl. <laughs> There's no way that's you. Goodbye, Jake. You're doing great. You already got someone to fall in love with you. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it great? I told you not to snort. I only need three more people to fall in love with me, and then I can meet my soulmate. Look, there's a guy right there. What do I do? Wink at him. Act cute. Play with your hair a bit. Whoa, is everything okay here, little man? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm okay. I was actually trying to flirt with you. <laughs> oh, you were? I thought there was something wrong with you. Hey, my name's Jason. What's yours? Brianna. We should exchange numbers. Okay. You lost another heart! No way, your makeover's working great! Hey, Bri. <laughs> Stop, if you want to get boys, you can't be friends with Kevin anymore. Your makeover's working great! Hey, Bri. <laughs>
Stop. If you want to get boys, you can't be friends with Kevin anymore. Brianna, look at this insect I found. Wow, <laughs> let me see. Brianna, tell him. Kevin, I'm sorry, but we can't be friends anymore. I'm trying to get boys to fall in love with me, so I can't be seen with the weird guy. I really hope that getting boys and being popular is worth losing who you are. So after class, we'll go looking for the next guy. Brianna, don't wear your glasses. I can't see anything. Why do I have to change everything about myself to get boys to like me? Why can't I just be me? Brianna, wait. This is just so boys will fall in love with you so you can find your soulmate. Once you find your soulmate, you can go back to being yourself again. And who's to say my soulmate's going to love me for who I am? No one else does. Brianna, you lost another heart. You're almost there. But how? I haven't talked to anyone new. You lost another heart. You're almost there. But how? I haven't talked to anyone new. Hey, Brianna. Your grades have been doing phenomenal. You're looking really good these days. I like your new look. I'll see you in class. Do you think it was Mr. Stevens that fell in love with you? For his wife and kids' sake? I hope it's not him. Okay, right in front of you, that's Chad. He's one of the hottest guys in the school. Go up to him and ask if he would like to attend Devin's party with you. Kevin's walking this way. So? Hi, Kevin. Don't talk to me. You're too cool for me, remember, Brianna? <laughs> Brianna, what are you doing? Go talk to Chad! Right. Chad. Hi, what's your name? I'm not sure we've met before. <laughs> Stop, boys don't like it when you cry. I don't care. I don't care about Chad. I'm in love with Kevin. Is Kevin more important than your soulmate? He is. Then go to him. Kevin, I... Kevin, I'm so glad we're finally boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too. <laughs> I love you, Cynthia. Kevin, I'm so glad we're finally boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too. <laughs> I love you, Cynthia. How'd it go with Kevin? Did you tell him you like him? He likes someone else. Brianna, you lost your last heart. Someone else fell in love with you. Chad. No, it wasn't Chad. It was me. Oh? Not in a romantic way, in a platonic way. I fell for you and I saw that you stay true to yourself and know what you want. The only person left to fall in love with you is your soulmate. That means I'm going to find my soulmate any time now. That's the girl I remember. <laughs> it's so great to be myself again. Hey, do you mind if I sit next to you? Uh, okay. Does anyone know the answer to this equation? 7,422. Whoa. Girl who knows her math. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. What? Nothing. Congrats on finding your soulmate and getting him to fall in love with you. What's this? It's a list of all the people who fell in love with you before your soulmate. The third person on the list is Kevin!